Hi guys, I'm back. I'm on the floor again. This is gonna be like a weekly thing where I just sit on the floor. So today's video is gonna be very fun, very chatty. I've already got my makeup done already. This is a look that's on Instagram. I think I posted it by now, but if you've got any questions on what I am wearing makeup wise on oh, my hair, this is milk and blush hair. It is so bloody beautiful. Yeah, if you've got any questions, pop them in the comments below. So I asked you guys over on Instagram on one of the question boxes to send me your worst dating experiences kind of thing or funny like experiences basically and i'm gonna read from them today they want to sit down read them i've got my gin here my choice of gin is gardens mediterranean orange and as you can see i like it a lot cheers oh i need to mix that <laughs> mix it before we get into the video, I'm just going to mention this little product that I got sent. The Scent Therapy Pamper Box. Um, I absolutely love candles. You know it's about my diffusers, candles, anything that smells lovely. I'm a very, I like my scents. And they gifted me this. Is it. it smells amazing outside. And I was like, oh my god, I can't wait to open it. I open it up and it's got a little quote there. Look at, sorry, my armpit. Look at that. To the mind that is still the whole universe surrenders. So it comes with these two fragrance bags. I've never tried them before, but I love lavender. Lavender is like such a peaceful scent and it just sends me right to the relaxation, chilled. It makes me go to sleep. It comes with four candles, all different scents. It comes with a little card that says all the scents on it. That one I can't pronounce, that top one there, beginning with B. Um, I'm not good at pronouncing this stuff. So I have matches, I don't have a bloody lighter. So I'll just pop that back there. Don't worry, I won't set anything on fire. <laughs> no, you guys sent me messages because it was too long. So I'm very excited to specifically read those ones that are really long. Okay, but, oh my god, I've got so many to go through. I'm sorry, I'm just <laughs> my boots. I need to do more videos like this, guys. You need to like interact with me so then we can like have a good time. This is like just like hanging out with your mate. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I had a Tinder date try to guilt me into sleeping with him because he said that's how it goes and I said no so he made me give him half of what dinner cost. Shut up. What do you mean? Guilt how, how would you even guilt someone into sleeping with you? You'd have to go back to theirs or something or like I, can't, I don't even care if you go back to theirs like what you did they pay the bill? Did you pay the bill first? Did he pay the bill for you and then go back to his or you went back to yours and then oh you have to pay the rest of the bill now like what how would that even happen i just pretend like yeah absolutely yeah and then i get him to pay and i'm like no i'm not sleeping with you just because you buy me food doesn't mean i'm gonna sleep with you like oh i hate that when people just like oh if i buy you food what are you gonna do for me i'm sorry how are you raised because that is not okay it's, it's worse than if, if you're in that situation though, because I, I feel like my mates would be like, oh, I'd do this, oh, I'd do that. And I'm like, oh my God, I'd slap him. I probably would actually slap him. I think he needs a slap, but like, I wouldn't do it because I'm just like, I'm a lady. We was the only ones in the restaurant and the staff just <laughs> was just watching us the whole time. <gasps> that is so awkward. Because like, do you know when you're on a date, you guys will get me, you know when you're on a date and you go to a restaurant Mine was TGI's. It's it's changed now, but I used to go to TGI's all the time. Um, I don't know why, because I don't even like Jack Daniel's sauce. I feel like every time you're on a first date, it's the first date that's the worst. When you're on a first date, I feel like the server knows, and you're just like, oh, hi. I used to be a little bit more awkward on a date, and now I'm just like, I'm just a very chat person. So I work simply retail. I think it's just easy to be ch I just chat to anybody. But it's always that awkward thing of like when the waiter comes, you, like, you go quiet. You're like, obviously they can hear your conversation as you're walking past. So if they're waiting to like serve you or anything like that, like the waiting on the side, they can hear your conversation. It's just like that's so awkward, especially like if you if it is the first date because like sometimes the first date is like awful or like you have to like ask. The most stupid questions ever to get through it. Like if you can't make a conversation, you just on. If you're asking question after question after question, oh my god, I can't deal with that. Have a conversation. You can ask questions, but then have a conversation. Oh my god. I bet you were just like under pressure even more. Imagine being on a date and then someone like you know that someone's listening to you. 
because it's dead. Oh my god, I would have changed. I would have been like, can we go somewhere else? Oh my god, I feel for you, girl. Oh, that would have been so awkward. Guy I was dating for six months saw me two times because he was too busy and she put loads of laughing emojis. Oh my, do you know what? I feel like sometimes, guys, most times, guys just take the piss. Like, I remember I was talking to this one guy and literally they always say, oh, I'm working or, oh, I'm doing this, oh, I'm doing that. Um, long story short, he had a buddy, he had a girl, and so I was like, hmm. I think you're never gonna find out. I'm like, hmm, I'm smart, I'm gonna find out. But oh my God, two times within six months, unless it was really long distance. You'd at least do one day out of a month, wouldn't you? Even if it's long distance, you make one day out of the month. Oh, do you know what I think when someone's like that? I'm like, who else are you talking to? And it's alright if you're dating for him to talk to other people. I'm just like, yeah, this isn't serious, clearly. I'm like, hmm. I just, just stopped recording because I went, decided to come upstairs. I, even though I bloody told him I was filming. It's what happens every time I film. Everybody comes upstairs and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my god, as if it, like, that's the reason now. Like, oh, I'm too busy. <laughs> that's just like being like, oh no, I'm not bothered really. Like, if someone says they're too busy to see you that often, I'm like, in six months? Nah, nah, put you in the bin. Put you in the bin. That's you in the bin. I was on a date with this guy from my school and he tried to kiss me. What? <laughs> I was on a first date with this guy from my school and he tried to kiss me after 40 minutes. Awkward and then that emoji. That's not bad if you like him and you wanted him to kiss you kind of thing, but like. I don't think you did want to kiss your buddy out. For a first date, they are. Oh, it depends though, because I know what people are different on for like first date, second date, they have rules and stuff. And I'm just like, nah, just go with the flow, really. I don't really, really care, to be fair. The thing is though, if you don't want to kiss on the first date, you're not going to want to kiss on the second date or the third or the fourth. So it's just like, <laughs> I'm guessing you did not want to. But really, you wouldn't expect it though after 40 minutes. I want it anyways. It's, it's, oh, that's. I'm, where would you be after school though? Because I'm thinking like on my school days and I were like walking on the street. That's what you did. <laughs> or like at someone's house if like, I don't know. Unless the parents were on home or something, it still work. Oh, we've got, we've got a very long one. <laughs> I'm just very part of it, sorry. Um, so this boy with a rhinestone <laughs> skull top. Okay. Ah, oh, so this boy with a rhinestone skull top put his headphones in through the day. Are you joking? <laughs> oh my god, what, what, like, what was your reaction? I haven't even finished yet. Through the day? Or was he listening to a song randomly? I don't get what. What the hell? And, and, insisted, and insisted on coming back to mine even though he was uninvited question mark. There's some right bloody weird ones out there. So I told him how ugly his top was and he got very upset with loads of laughing faces. <gasps> oh my God, you are ruthless. I love the fact that you just told him he got an ugly top on. But then at the same time, you know you're not gonna see him again. Cause I'm guessing you already made up your mind about, yeah, now nah, you're rude. Do you know what I hate? You go on a date with someone and they answer the phone. <gasps> like if you're on a first date with someone. Oh, in a date in general, it's, it's literally like a date's only like, what, one to two hours? Why are you answering your phone? I don't know, I feel like certain circumstances are like, probably like, okay, I'm understanding, but like, on your first date, really? No, I wouldn't do that, so I wouldn't expect other people to do that, but DL. Oh, why would you put your earphones? I don't get why he put his earphones in. Oh my god, his headphones in. Headphones, not even the earphones. Like, fully look like them headphones. Oh my god. <gasps> you did a good thing, girl. You did a good thing. I went on a date with someone who worked in a circus and told me he could escape out of handcuffs in under 30 seconds. I don't think I'd trust him. Like, I'd be like, mm. And used to carry little razors on him out of habit. Oh, he used a razor to get out of it. Is that a thing? Oh, I don't know. Had way too many Sambucas. First of all, huh? Sambucas? No, I can't, honest, bleh. like my, my body just shakes thinking about aniseed. <laughs> I hate it when someone orders like, can we have a Sambuca shot? shot? I'm like, are you trying to kill me? Give me tequila, give me vodka, give me even sours. Give me anything other than Sambuca. I'll vomit in my mouth. Threw up in front of him, still together. Two years later though, I love that. Oh, that's so cute. I feel like the ones where you like really embarrass yourself on sometimes. 
Like it doesn't matter because like, do you know what? If a guy likes you, a guy likes you. You can't really do anything too embarrassing, I don't think, because there's like, I'm guessing he would punch him because he, <laughs> he would think, oh, she's so cute when she throws up, imagine. <laughs> You might have a good one there, but yeah. He told me he loved me on a night out and it was the first time we spoke. Do you know what though? Wait, it was the first time you spoke? Were we on a date or just a random guy? Cause I'm like, I've had that before when like my mate is like, <laughs> she just started trying around and talk, talking to someone who's come up to her. And it's like, I love you. She's like, oh my God, he told me you love me. I'm like, you don't even know him. <laughs> The date started me in a restaurant. When I got there, he was drunk and hitting on other women. I'm sorry, how long was he waiting for you? Or is this his usual like place he wanted? Probably went into a usual place. But oh my God, if you were drunk when you got there. Oh, I don't know what I'd do if someone were drunk, but then at the same time, if they're drunk, I will think, mm, they're gonna remember this. Should I just walk out? Yeah, I'll walk out. Like, oh my God. Oh, hitting on other women though as well. I'd be like, well, Thank you for saving my time. It does save your time, doesn't it? You're like, oh, that's what kind of person you are. Never mind. Oh, if you went through that whole day, I feel so sorry for you. Because I know some people feel awkward and they're like, oh, I still have to go on a date. Like, I feel bad, like, but you're hitting on other people. Like, oh my God, it would be so awkward if you're on a date and they hit on, like, the waitress or something. I'd be like, I'm getting up now and leaving and you're paying for this right now because I ain't paying for whatever this is. He wouldn't speak, totally went mute on me. Oh, gave him another chance and he broke down, crying out of nowhere. Still gave him another chance and I got ghosted. I bet he felt so awkward that he cried twice. He couldn't like see you again because you were that embarrassed. I don't think it's got anything to do with you. Nothing to do with you at all. Cause he didn't even know you. And the fact that he went mute on you. Why would you want to go on another date with that guy? Bless you, you're a sweetheart. You don't need that. Oh my God, bless you. Went to Amsterdam for him and caught him on a date with another girl. <gasps> he went all the way to Amsterdam and then he's with another girl. But then at the same time, this is not like a good, like it's not a good thing that he obviously, he, that he did that, but you saw that to then think, oh yeah, that's a no from me and you walked away kind of thing. Because imagine if you saw him after you went on that date with that girl or something and you were still like talking to him after you went on that date and you had no idea I hate being in the dark. Like as soon as I find out like something horrible about a bloody guy that I've been talking to or something, I'm like, why can't I found out sooner? I feel like we always know that. Like, the, I feel like I always know when the summer off. That's why I'm like, mm, I'm gonna wait for something to come out. So I like kind of like go back a bit. I'm like, mm, I'm just gonna put the wall up a little bit again. Let's build it up. <laughs> I've never had a date. How? Are, what? I kind of love date, but I don't like dates. Like I like doing the dating thing where you go out to a restaurant. I like go out drinking and stuff. I miss that. Not the worst, but every time I go to the movies with my boyfriend, he'll accidentally spill mustard all over my shirt. <laughs> what do you mean? I feel like it's doing it on purpose now, because I'm just like, how can you do it every single time? And how does he even do that? Every time he goes to the movies, your boyfriend spill mustard on you accidentally. But how does he do it accidentally? Is he just accident prone? Right, I've got a couple more to get through. Oh my god, this has been so much fun. Oh my god, you need to tell me, like, we need to do another one of these, but like different topics and stuff. It was so much fun. Mm. I met up for coffee with a guy from Tinder. <laughs> Sorry, Tinder. <laughs> I can tell it's gonna be funny already. Um, and halfway through the day, my nostrils were itchy, so I scratched it. And next thing you know, I. <laughs> But she had boogers, I think she's from the US. Boogers on my finger. And she put the, like, the skull emoji, like, dead. He was mortified and I just wanted to die at that point. <laughs> oh my god! You know what I did to me once? I don't know what, obviously, what would happen. I have a sniffly nose. If I hate, you know, if you eat hot food, you get, like, sniffles. Not because it's spicy, just because it's physically hot. Um, I remember eating this burger. It literally, it was, it was packed full of people. Oh my god. I went over and went this to me on my nose really quickly. And I went... What? I'm like, what are you doing? I felt very embarrassed because he did that. I, f I feel less embarrassed if he went, oh, you've just got something there. And I went, oh, sorry. And took it off myself. But the fact he did it that quick, I was like, hmm. 
touch my face. Don't touch my face. Oh my god, girl. I'm guessing you never saw him before. The fact that you like you notice and he noticed at the same time though. He just scratched your nose though. How would you unless you went in? No, like what was the video? Did he not tell you our politeness? And then saw it, and then he realised that you like it was there the whole time. Oh my god, that's so awkward. <gasps> I went on a blind date. I've never been on a blind date. Hmm, that I kind of have. To wing woman, my bestie. The guy turned out to be six foot something cage fighter who just who what <laughs> cage fighter who had just come out of prison. He took us to the grossest club, like my heels stuck to the floor when we walked in and people were smoking inside. Oh, no, I don't like that. I escaped through the bathroom window and had to army crawl through the bush to my car, traumatised. Oh, what? Oh my God, you're the girl that went out the window. Oh my God. Props to you, girl, as if you actually did that. If it's like, if it's like to the point of like where you go somewhere and you like feel uncomfortable and it's that gross and you're just like, oh my God, get me out of here. Like, not only the date was bad, but the place was bad. I'd be like, yeah, get me out. I wanna go, bye. <laughs> it's for something. I don't mind him at all. Cage fighter, I don't really, do, I'm not bothered about a cage fighter, but fucking just come out of prison, I'd be like, Wait, the fact that you know that it just come out of prison, that means he's told you as well. Oh my god, I can't even imagine the conversation. Oh my god. Oh, and you wore heels as well. I never wear heels. You have to take me to a fancy place if I'm wearing heels. I'm not just going to wear heels for, for nothing. I'm just thinking these bathroom windows are that big. How the... Oh my god. <laughs> Get me out, are you? I once went on the first date. It's always the first date that's the worst one because they never get a second date, do they? Or if they do get a second date, it's simply worse on the second date. Went on a first date to an all-you-can-eat buffet. Oh, no. First date, though, all-you-can-eat buffet. Mmm. They say I don't use chopsticks or cut noodles up when I eat them. And I shoved the noodles in my mouth. Noticed my date was looking. And the first thing I could think of was to... <laughs> oh, my God, girl. Do an impression of Davy Jones from the Pirates of Caribbean. Oh, you are a funny gal though, but like on the first day, I'd be like, I don't know you that well. I literally looked back up at my date with the noodles hanging out, shook my head and went, I'm Davy Jones. <laughs> oh my God. Wait, did you go on a second date? Did you say you go on a second date? <gasps> she didn't say. Oh my god, bless it. I bet she was just like comfortable. Like, do you know when people get awkward and they get really funny? Like, they get like, they're just a funny person in general. Oh my god. Oh my god, girl. Wait, did you say that with the noodles in your mouth? <laughs> uh. Oh, I've loved this video. Oh my god, I can't stop smiling. I'm like, Jesus Christ, you guys are ruthless and I love it. Oh, some of you guys are just sweethearts and they don't say anything. We'll definitely need to do another one of these videos, so watch out on my Instagram stories for another question box thing. Oh, you had a laugh with me. Um, let me know what you thought in the comments below. I love chilling out with you guys. Thank you for watching it to the end. I really appreciate you, angels. I shall see you guys in my next one. Bye. Thank you, Lord, for all your